Hi family, so in this video, it's a recipe I did, that was my birthday, the 22nd of February and I prepared a meal, I mean my favorite meal and I'm so so sorry I couldn't upload it on time so here you are, enjoy this video, okay? Hello lovely people, so I welcome you all back again to Jewish Veggie Kitchen oh yeah, today is one of my favorite days and today is my birthday Yay. Oh, I'm getting older <laughs> but being old is a blessing okay I, I, I am so much grateful today I woke up early in the morning and I had a lot of messages calls oh my goodness thank you very 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 much I'm so much grateful so as a lot of people who know me way back in Ghana in my primary school days I was that Kumasi girl, okay. Actually, I'm from Kumasi, Kenya. I see a brief stroke. So, so I was. So, I was that kind of Kumasi girl who would celebrate her birthday in school with a Kwine and a A lot of people know me with that. They call me a Betia Mami. So, today being my birthday, I want to uh, prepare this meal. Uh, for all of you that's in fact that's my favorite meal and i love to prepare it during my birthday so stay back relax and enjoy okay <laughs> well family today our abenkwai will be done from the scratch i turn on the heat to start and then i go ahead to put in the oyster mushrooms which I have already sliced into small pieces because of the sizes. I then add in the portobellos as well. Yes, this is colorful. <laughs> and moreover, not forgetting the white creamy knee and my button mushrooms they all make the soup taste great Miss Yene, hmm. after i'm done with the mushrooms i then add my red diced onions as well just look at this this is so colorful <laughs> so i go ahead to blend my celery you know i love celery i love it and then i add my shallots together with onions hmm. ginger as well and turkey berries yeah queen susa and i then add the blended ingredients to my mushrooms and then of course i raise it with water just as my mama taught me I then add a spoon of salt to taste and I add my smoked paprika powder as well so I'm now introducing you all to my new homemade organic spice this uh, was done together with my mother-in-law and in fact you have to try this spice mix so if you are interested in buying this spice mix just contact me on all my social media handles if you want one to buy and it will be on sales very soon so just pre-order it just need a little bit of it and you are good to go now i'm adding my locust beans my dawa dawa to it this is going to give your palm nut soup an amazing taste 
so you stir everything together just to infuse all the spices in your mushrooms and then you cover it and allow it to simmer so well we are going to focus on getting the liquid out of this palm nut so i first boiled water and afterwards i pulled some lukewarm water from the tap to mix it so i don't burn my hands well family let me tell you the history of how i got this palm nut my auntie knew that i always celebrate my birthday with palm nut soup so she did pound um this together with precursor and turkey berries queen susa and got it frozen and posted it to me <laughs> thank you auntie <laughs> so i'm going to squeeze this palm nut now after i have mixed it to extract all the juices from it and that is what we are going to be using for our soup mm. you know nowadays most people are used to making the one which is an easier way to do it but sometimes i prefer to go the long hard way especially on my birthdays just to have the best of the soup that i want so as you all can see i'm straining to get the juice from the shark Wow, okay. Ah, Adi, missing point. A bayer dan cassa. Hey, who can so saw womb, precious womb? Ah, a bell cry, a bell cry, Papa B. Yeah. So I am tapping hard on my strainer. This is how it is. Than traditional. Uba bubo so di ene so se be ya in si yo aka e wo me fi ni mu bi ya e be so ni. Yeah, as you all can see, this, this is my juice. It's still not on fire yet. Okay, now I'll extract another juice from it again because I feel there is still more juices in it. So I will add little bit of water and i will redo the same procedure just look at it so that means juice you know via every mephi but hey do not throw away your shark because you can use it to fire your charcoal so family now i think i have had my money's worth <laughs> so let's all continue <laughs> my soup is smelling and looking good already <laughs> now i'm adding my tofu to it <laughs> and i then add my chons i fried my chons so i add it <laughs> we want our soup to be the tastiest of so family i now add my tomatoes and onion and also i add homemade tomato paste one tip i would like to give you all is that whenever you are preparing palm nut soup you don't need too much tomatoes this is just an advice for you so just look at our juice once again we are now finally going to strain everything into our soup so i'm using a strainer with a very small hose okay just look at it it's still not beautiful <laughs> so family one thing i want to let you know you all see that black um shaft at the end i don't want to add it to my so i will leave it so whenever you are preparing your soup don't forget 
to leave that one so as you all can see there is a paste formed in our fine strainer so one thing i'm going to use to dissolve this paste is boil water so i will add hot water to my paste form in my strainer to dissolve everything <laughs> so now i'm adding my peppers and then it's now time for me to add my precursor so first of all i have to cut them into four pieces mm -hmm. yeah and then you smoke it just look at it my precursor hey i had to hear more Hmm, my kitchen is smelling good already. <laughs> yeah, so you keep on turning and we don't want to burn our precursor. So now I'm going to add the cut up and smoke precursor to my soup to get the flavors that I need. It's now time for me to prepare my concomte a bit here. So first of all, I put water in my saucepan and I allow it to boil. So right now, I'm going to use half of it and then reserve the other half for later use. So as soon as you put in your concomte, that's cassava flour, Please don't forget to stir this very fast, okay? And that way it will make you avoid any lumps. So you keep on stirring until you get the consistency you want and add more water if needed. <laughs> so there is one funny joke I always hear they say that Now I'm bringing out the softened um, onions, tomatoes. I'm going to blend all these together here. I'm going to add the blended tomato in my soup. <laughs> Just look at it. Yeah, I'm rinse it with the same um, soup so I don't get very light soup yeah so you then allow it to cook now I add the aswasu mushrooms to infuse flavors also in fact i don't know the english name of asoaso <laughs> my goodness yeah so just look at it yeah we are now about to form a concon tea <laughs> yeah just form it the way that you want how big that you want it. so I remember those days myself and my grandma 
we will wake up around 5 a.m. to prepare this gongonte so that I can take it to school at 7 a.m. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. So you just form it as big as you want and then you pack everything, cover it with your paper towel to keep it warm. You all just look at my abemkwai palm not soup. This is authentic. So the last part in this video, I'm going to show you a quick way to prepare your okro, okay? So you first put your water to boil, you add your salt to taste, and you cut your okro. You, we don't want it that big so you pour everything in your saucepan so we are just doing this quick okra <laughs> and then you add your spinach to it but you also cut them into smaller pieces so as soon as you are done you add any spice of your choice I am adding my favorite spice that's Vegeta. So afterwards, I keep on stirring. So I stir and stir until my okra and spinach are well cooked. I call this okra quickly okra stew. <laughs> quickly. <laughs> it's very quick to make. Uh, a film quite palm nut soup is done so as you all can see I'm now souping out some of the palm oil from my palm nut soup you just have to take your time when souping out some of it we don't want that we don't want a lot of palm oil in our soup look at the amount I was able to soup from this palm nut soup which i'll be using for another recipe <laughs> so you all see a brand and in them way and by the way the Look at how my soup has turned out to be. I'm popping me. So it's time for me to taste, just as I always do. <laughs> yeah, my betty and I'm ready to apoto you with money. You betty will apoto you with me. So I will add my soup to it. Hey, yeah, 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 so I'm swinging at the damn way. <laughs> Ay, my oyster mushrooms. In fact, I wish you were here to have the taste of my apple wine and a beauty. One thing to note about palm nut soup is that it thickens up overnight, okay? So make sure to make it lighter. But if you want to enjoy it with your rice balls, you pick it up. But I am eating it with my bitches. So I prefer it a little bit lighter. Okay, so I'm now adding my okra <laughs> to it. <laughs> oh, my days. Ah. Oh, just look at it. Oh, I forgot to add my breakfast and my Aiden fruit to it. Ah, let me enjoy myself. It's my birthday. <laughs> so, Abusia, for my lovely family. In fact, my birthday will never be complete without eating Abetie, aka La Pewa, aka Face the Wall, aka 
Chris Brown. So I see, I I'm about to eat, okay? Today is my birthday, so I wouldn't talk a lot, okay? Kindly like, share, and subscribe to my channel, okay? Don't forget to. The next time, eat good, eat healthy. Bye bye. Mama and sister, Mr. Tribe.